The insane spin serve is illegal in 2023. Are pickleball spin serves 2023 rules changed or banned? If you don't know about the latest pickleball serve rule for 2023, you'll hit yourself later. At the start of 2022, USA Pickleball banned the chainsaw serve. For reference, the chainsaw serve is when a player presses the ball against the paddle with one hand and employs a chainsaw-like motion to generate a great deal of spin, forcing the ball to kick in a manner not typically seen in pickleball. The spin serve is an evolution of the chainsaw serve that was employed by players in the past. The spin serve is comparable to the chainsaw serve, but instead of using their paddles to get additional leverage, players spin the ball using only their hands. Well, it doesn't look like that will last long because word on the street is that USA Pickleball will ban the spin serve on January 1st, 2023. Want to know more details? Make sure you stick around till the end. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the United States and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about the major updates that we have regarding the pickleball spin serve in 2023. Stay tuned if you're excited to know whether it has been deemed illegal or not. Now let's get right into the video. It's quite certain that the pickleball spin serve will not be permitted going forward after it's published as part of the 2023 USAPA official rules, which are scheduled to be released in the following year. It is important to know that the pre-spun serve, which is more often referred to as the finger spin serve, will no longer be permitted. The rule that would have been modified in order to accommodate the proposed adjustment to the pickleball serve rules can be found in rule 4.a.5 and reads as follows. In matches without a referee, the server's release of the ball must be visible to the receiver. The server shall not impart manipulation or spin on the release of the ball immediately prior to the serve. If the receiver determines that manipulation or spin has been imparted or the release of the ball is not visible, the receiver shall call for a reverse immediately after the serve occurs. This proposed rule prohibits the use of a pre-spun pickleball serve in an effective manner. Some players may know this as the Morgan Evans serve, named after the pro player who popularized the spin serve technique. The enforcement mechanism of the proposed regulation, which places the responsibility for calling a pre-spun serve on the player who is making the return, presents the possibility of a fault. Let's take a more in-depth look at these points. First, the proposed serve rule changes do not mean that the pickleball spin serve is banned. The proposed modification to the serve rule seems to have generated a fair degree of uncertainty thus far. Reading through the Facebook pickleball forums will show you this. The paddle can be used to spin the ball in pickleball. As the ball makes contact with the paddle, it's given this spin, which helps to accelerate it ahead. As part of their serve, a player might provide the ball topspin or underspin. If you want to read more about pickleball spins and other positions on them, read this article. Any shot you take, whether you plan to spin the ball or not, will almost always do so. The three requirements for a valid pickleball serve are the sole restrictions on how much spin can be put on the ball by the paddle. The following are the proper mechanics for a volley serve. 1. Belly button hit by the ball. 2. The second rule is to paddle with your forearm underneath your wrist, the highest part of the paddle below where the wrist joint bends. 3. An upward arcing paddle. Following these three guidelines will prevent you from slicing the ball while you serve. But you can still try to serve while spin on it, as long as you don't break any of the three guidelines. Here's a video demonstrating a side spin serve and how to hit one, if you're curious about the types of spin serves that are legal. Now, the pre-spun ball or finger spin will be banned. The proposed rule change for 2023 pickleball serves prohibits players from rotating the ball before serving. Since the rule has been implemented, players can no longer impart spin on the ball by releasing their hand before the serving. Watch this video where they demonstrate several types of the pre-spun serve if you're unfamiliar with it. While the pre-spun serve may seem novel at first, it actually goes far beyond the norms of pickleball. It makes the serve more offensively potent than is appropriate for the design of pickleball, which is built around a series of shots being traded during a rally rather than a winner-take-all mentality. The serve's original use was a rally-starting weapon. The term serve stems from the time when a servant was used to put the ball in play before a tennis match so the players could take turns hitting the ball. The tennis serve no longer serves the original function, and this divergence has had far-reaching consequences for the game, giving the serve disproportionate importance relative to other shots. To fully appreciate pickleball, you must understand that it's best played with a number of players and many shots per rally. Pickleball's accessibility to players of varying ages, skill levels, and physical preparation is among the sport's most distinguishing features. For this reason, basketball is one of the few sports that can be played by people of different ages on the same court. This quality would be undermined by the finger spin pickleball serve, which makes it less probable that players of varying skill levels can play together. 
The objections expressed to the proposed 23 pickleball serve rule change banning the pre-spun serve are not pervasive. There are a number of concerns that players have voiced about the planned ban on the pre-spun serve. The concerns can be grouped into different classes. There are already too many regulations for pickleball, so please don't add any more. If a player can't handle the spin serve, they should find another hobby. There are not convincing reasons in favor of the spin serve in pickleball. There are constraints in every sport. To pick and choose specific aspects of a game that are currently allowed and then say, well, ban this next, is not convincing. Tar on a baseball, the three-second rule in basketball, and the length of a tennis racket are all examples of parts that are currently allowed but might be regulated or outlawed if voters so choose. It's possible to have a fun game without a set of rules. Pickleball's intended general parameters can be achieved by simply adjusting the rules to strike a balance. That balance is debatable, but arguing that pre-spun serves should be unrestricted simply because doing so would lead to the prohibition of all serves is not convincing. Taking away the pre-spun serve has not been shown to slow the evolution of the game. While the pre-spun serve has always been an unusual shot that few players opt to use, tennis has progressed tremendously without ever having to take it into account. With no supporting evidence, this doomsday argument fails to convince. This is an extremely self-centered argument. Wow, really? I want pickleball to be for me and the way I want it, and everyone else can pound sand. One should do some introspective thinking if they're advancing this idea. Everyone on Earth has to deal with the local legal system and share the planet with others. They're just as entitled to their personal pleasures as anyone else. As is always the case, the egocentric line of reasoning will not win out. It's reasonable to have reservations about the new service restrictions. For reasons X and Y, a player might think pickleball should allow a pre-spun serve. With a few notable exceptions, however, that is not what the players are arguing. Instead, discussions and Emily dwindle down to one of the aforementioned completely unconvincing arguments. We present this part not to persuade individuals who hold the aforementioned views. I'll bet if we succeed in doing so, all the better. This is included to protect players from the above arguments, indirect attacks. We've always said that pickleball should be open to anyone who wants to give it a try, and we won't stop doing that now. But there could be a problem with enforcing new pickleball rules. While we agree that the pre-spun serve should be outlawed, we worry about how that will be enforced. The proposed regulation states, in relevant part, that the receiver must immediately request a reserve if he or she suspects any form of manipulation or spin was used to the serve or if the release of the ball was not apparent. The distance between the receiver and the server is more than 44 feet. However, it's up to the recipient to determine if manipulation or spin has been communicated. It's more likely that players will think that regulation applies to spin serves instead of pre-spin serves. The difficulty is that a serve that spins or is just a fast spinning ball is legal, thus receivers can't legitimately complain about it being served to them. Having to judge the server's serving technique is an unnecessary burden on the receiver. Recipients should not have to worry about these details while they focus on their return. The phrase manipulation or spin is open to the receiver's perception because of its nebulousness. In our opinion, the sport does not need yet additional potential source of contention when players disagree over a call. Not when the rule isn't open to interpretation as this one. What's the fix? Well, the drop serve is not universally favored. It is a most practical response to a pre-spun serve since it eliminates the possibility of a dispute about whether or not the serve was legal. Pre-spinning the ball is not an option while using a drop serve. If you bounced a ball with a lot of spin on it on a court, the spin would be cancelled out. It's possible that the spin will cause bounce that the server would rather not have. Therefore, there's no need to spin the ball in advance. Plus, there will be less room for debate over whether or not the serve was legal because the three rules of the classic volley serve no longer apply. Only if the receiver mistakenly assumes that the serve is using downward thrust to release the ball, will there be any resistance. Again, this isn't the most well-liked answer, but it is practical and true to the game's ethos, which includes the serve's role as a rally opener. So what do you think about the pickleball spin serve and the latest rules? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and share with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, then make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.